Peace, light, and love. And I wanted to talk uh, about a news item. I mean, today it's uh, Monday, uh, 11th of uh, February. And unfortunately, uh, this uh, beautiful girl will only be mentioned today. Uh, it's been recognized that her murder, 19 year old Ori Ansbecher. Well, she was murdered on, on Thursday night when she went to the forest uh, near where she worked with um, animal therapy, um, using um, animals to help people who have been traumatized. Uh, she did that instead of an army service, it's called national service. I think it's really beautiful that to close this circle, a dog, here's a picture of my dog, uh, a dog called Zili, who works at, um, she works in uh, the army unit of finding terrorists. The dog went straight for the terrorist and she prevented um, a combat situation where it would have been the army against the terrorists. The dog can infiltrate in small places. She went straight to the terrorists because dogs have amazing senses. So she had already smelled the DNA or whatever they had uh, on the terrorist. And the dog picked up his scent and then she just went straight and got him and she managed to hold him till the to keep him till the army was able to c capture him so this dog has been working in the unit for five years doing this service and I think it's time to say thank you to all animal friends who help us this dog was guarding um, construction sites she was a guard dog unfortunately a lot of dogs after they serve humanity they're thrown out as of you know just like elderly people are thrown out and then nobody needs them anymore and it's very sad this dog is very talented she's an amazing guard dog uh oh she has a, she's a bit cold i'm going to take her back home you know it's really sad that some some of these service dogs don't get the the treatment after they serve uh, human beings so we have to say thank you to our animal friends that help us keep us safe. And isn't it an interesting uh, development of the case that uh, this young woman who was working with animals, um, used using animals for therapy, uh, after she was murdered, it was an animal that helped capture uh, the man who decided he had the right to end her life. I just want to say that there is no alternative to peace, light, and love. She wrote a poem, I read it in the internet, I can't find it at the moment, but it was about how peace has to first come from within, and the need to find peace within. Anyway, peace, light, and love for everybody. And let's say thank you to our animal friends today. Hug your dog. Make sure you show them how much you appreciate their service to mankind in terms of companionship, guarding us, taking care of us, um, and protecting us from uh, harmful, harmful destructive behavior of human beings that are not able to live in peace with others. They just have a feeling that they need to destroy. So thank you dogs. Peace and love to all our animal friends.